Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create analysis services cube in Microsoft Dynamics AX. In order to do that, we need to follow certain steps and I have written down for you. The first step that we need to create is perspective. Uh, we will uh, be using um, application object tree and we will create a new perspective. Uh, and uh, after we create new perspective and set the properties um, of that uh, particular perspective, then we're going to go ahead and add the tables and the views that we're going to use in our cube. And um, once tables and views are added in perspective, then we're going to go ahead and uh, set the attributes and the measure of selected tables and views because in cube that matters. The, without that, there won't be uh, really much use of the cube. And the fourth thing we're going to do is after we're all set with our perspective uh, and uh, tables, measures, and uh, attributes. We're going to go ahead and create analysis services project in AOT because at this time we'll be ready to deploy the cube. So we're going to go through uh, that wizard as well and uh, we'll go ahead and deploy that cube. After the the deployment, you, have an, uh, you will have an option whether you wanted to process the cube while you're deploying it or you wanted to process the cube later on. So once the cube is uh, uh, processed, uh, it'll be ready for us to use. And uh, the usage would be you can run, uh, you can create reports against that particular cube and put those reports on enterprise portal, or you can directly deploy it on uh, SQL Server reporting server. So uh, let's go and uh, uh, do these steps one by one. So we're going to go ahead and go in the server. Uh, here is my AOT environment. If you don't know how to uh, go to AOT environment, if you have client setup, you need to press Control D, and, and it'll take you to the object uh, uh, application object tree. So in order to do the create the perspective, new perspective, we need to go in the data dictionary up here and expand that. And right in the end, you will see the perspective. We need to create new perspective. So we're going to go ahead and click new and this perspective we're going to rename it we're going to create this queue for sales analysis so we're going to go ahead and say tech brother sales analysis tech brother sales analysis and once we rename that we're going to go ahead and go to the properties and label we will do sales analysis since we're uh, this is since we're analyzing the sales sales related data so we're going to go ahead and uh, label a sales analysis and usage would be OLAP up here we're not going uh, this the cube is being uh, created uh, and it's a uh, OLAP not OLTP and once we are uh, done with that, we're going to go ahead and save our perspective. Now we're ready our, for our second step to add tables and views to the perspective. So we're going to go ahead, tables and uh, views, as you can see from the data dictionary, it's right here. It'll be really hard to select table from here uh, and bring it over here. I would like to use drag and drop, so I'm going to right click and open in a new window and keep it right here so the first thing that we we need to do <coughs> excuse me we need to actually add uh, one table um, I'm going to use it just for my demo that is customer payment mode table and the views a couple views we're going to use in this um, uh, particular demo and the views would be customer table cube and cube uh, transactional total sale so in order to do that we're, we're going to go ahead and first add our table our table is a customer payment mode table so we're we need to find under C or cust it's a cust pay mode table to be precise so we're gonna go ahead I could use the search button but uh, um, especially in my environment uh, I can search uh, faster than it can it takes forever for me to search so we're gonna we're looking for cust payment mode right here 
press payment mode table we're gonna go ahead and let me open this I'm gonna go ahead and drag it up on the table and now we're looking for a couple views so we're gonna go in the views if it it is easy um, I, I don't have my again um, in a lot of videos I have mentioned that my um, Dynamics AX environment is not very optimized for uh, Dynamics AX really but if you have a beefy environment it'll be much easier if you will search uh, particular tables or views that you're uh, uh, looking for but uh, in my case it's um, I tried to use the search button but um, it took me it took forever really to uh, bring the data for me so the views that we're looking for is cus table cube and cus trans total sales right here um, we have a cus table cube and cus trans so we're gonna press control select both of them and drag them on the view all right so we're gonna go ahead and since we're done with our uh, second step we're gonna go ahead and save it now our third step is set the attributes and measure of the um, of the uh, views and the table so we're gonna go ahead and first we're gonna open this up and look at the fields first uh, this is going to be let's set the properties of this the dimension is going to be for uh, this particular um, uh, view we're gonna set that transactional because uh, that's going to be our tra transactional uh, dimension um, you, you can set other properties analysis dimension table uh, might be you know the sales and and all that uh, but um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm concerned. I'm I'm going to use this as a transactional, and then I'm going to use uh, amount um, up here, the transactional date, um, and payment mode and transactional type. They they are going to be my attributes, and um, uh, I'm going to use the amount MST as my measure. So let's set the properties for that. So I'm going to do um, translate as attribute. And then I'm going to use up here payment mode as my attribute. And um, I'm going to use account number account MST as my measure so I'm going to use it as my measure and what I am going to measure is sum so I mean it's it's up to your requirement however you want to do it I'm just going to show you that this is how it's usually done so um, I think uh, that I'm done with this uh, particular I'm going to do the cus table field and my attributes are going to be uh, name state uh, I'm going to select these you can s select multiple uh, columns and set the property at once I'm going to go to the property and set usage as my attributes and then I'm going to go ahead and account number property I'm going to use as dimension I'm sorry measure and I'm going to use the count so we're done we're done with our uh, step three so let's go ahead and save our save our perspective all right so next thing our next is we are going to create analysis services cube so we're gonna go ahead and click on tools go to the business intelligence tools and up here you will see the SQL server analysis uh, services wizard project so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're gonna click next and 
create a new tech brother sales analysis so we're gonna go ahead and create new one and we're gonna go ahead and select our um, perspective it's gonna take a little bit of time We're gonna go ahead and this is our sales analysis is our uh, uh, perspective that we created uh, just uh, let me cancel this and I'll show you real quick if you look at it the label up here is sales analysis maybe we could do this and we're gonna go ahead and save this and then we're gonna go just to distinguish from the other other stuff here is our uh, sales analysis uh, tech brother uh, perspective that uh, we just created click next up here, um, the select Microsoft Dynamics dimension, you can slice measure group related to the section main account. Um, we're not going to use that. We're going to go ahead and select next, and we're going to do the date part. We're going to go ahead and add the date part to it. And uh, you have a, an option to uh, choose the, the uh, your language. Uh, I'm going to use, since I'm in the United States, I'm going to use English United States next if you are using really foreign currency you can click that and add that uh, select the option to add analysis uh, currency dimension and convert measure to foreign cur currencies we're not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that but if you, you if you wanted to if you're using uh, you know if this is your requirement you can let's go ahead and do that now it's generating the analysis services cube for us and once the generation once the progress is done and it's hundred percent then we're gonna go ahead and deploy the cube just so that I will mention that after I create the cube you will not see the data because I do not have the data in my tables I didn't uh, uh, put the uh, sample data in my uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX environment so uh, this is basically to show you how things are done uh, I, I'm, I don't really care much about the data but uh, uh, if you if you're working in an organization or if you're learning at home uh, I would recommend you that you go ahead and add the sample uh, Contoso data. Uh, that way, you know, you'll see some data and uh, really nice results as well. But um, for me, I, this is just a demo of uh, showing that uh, how you create analysis services cube. Uh, you will follow the same steps whether you have data or not. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that. It's going to take uh, a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Once it's done, uh, I'll be back. All right, we're done uh, with the previous page. And the uh, next page is that uh, if we wanted to save our analysis services project to AOT or we wanted to save it at disk. But uh, you can also uh, save it to AOT. Uh, it's a Dynamics AX, so we're going to go ahead and save it to AOT as well as save it to our local disk. We're going to click, click. We're going to click next.
All right. Now we have a uh, option that we wanted to uh, deploy it right now, or um, we wanted to uh, the initial database is uh, sales um, uh, uh, tech brother initial. So you have an option that if you wanted to change the database, uh, you can. But uh, I'm going to leave it uh, up to that, and uh, it's going to deploy it on Dynamics AX SQL Server uh, SQL AX uh, production. This is uh, my um, uh, SQL Server uh, analysis services uh, I have installed on this particular instance. And another option that you can see up here is a process the project after it is successfully deployed. Uh, if you have a big cube that uh, has a lot of data data to process, I wouldn't recommend that you will select this. But if you're a small cube and you're just learning, you can uh, uh, just go ahead and click on uh, process the project after uh, it is deployed. So we're going to go ahead and click this one. This one is not a whole lot uh, since there isn't much data uh, for that matter. So we're going to go ahead and click next. Now it's going to go ahead and deploy our cube and um, uh, process our cube. And after this, our cube will be available to use. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. And uh, once it's done, I'll be back. All right, the deployment has just succeeded. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And we're going to click Finish. We're going to clear this log, or you can close it. and. Uh, we're going to go in our um, Microsoft SQL Server and try to connect with analysis services and see if that cube is created. So we're going to use Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Connect with analysis services. So we're going to go ahead and connect and go to the databases. Here is the database that we just created, and it's called Sales Analysis Tech Brother Initial. So we're going to go ahead and see if the cube is there. And here is the cube. So this is how you create um, this is how you create Analysis Services Cube in Microsoft Dynamics AX. And um, uh, just to repeat the process one more time, real quick, uh, create the new perspective in AOT, and we add the table and views in the, that particular perspective. And then after that, we configure table and views. Uh, as attributes and measures in order for us to uh, use it in a queue and then create analysis services project in AOT and then we went ahead and deployed the project and we had an option to process the queue while we were deploying the uh, uh, pr uh, project so we went ahead and processed the queue so now after that just to confirm we connected with Microsoft Dynamics a um, Microsoft Dynamics AX analysis services database and we saw that the database is created called sales analysis tech brother initial and our cube is residing at uh, sales and right here in analysis services database now you can go ahead and uh, run the reports create the reports against this cube or you can go ahead and browse the cube right here in management studio and get your desired results